Alright everybody, it's Chris of the Christ and Andrews Garage and uh, we are polishing and waxing a Stingray. Um, I don't know if long time subscribers might recognize this car, maybe seen it on my Facebook page. Um, but when I first moved into the shop, I did a company vehicle for across the street, and then uh, and this guy was an employee over there, and so he brought me this old black, it was an ex-cop car, black, just really scratched, and I uh, compounded it, polished it, and waxed it for him, and uh, he was real happy with it, and he brought me his bike. Uh, one of the pictures I have, and uh, it has a solid wheel in the back, solid rim. So, and then I did this car, and then his blue Chevy pickup, and uh, all built up. I did that yesterday. Didn't have time to do a video of it and stuff, but uh, we're doing this one today. It's it's been you know pretty beat up since I did it last. A lot of scratches in it. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it all up. Um, we're gonna be doing do a little test area here. And we'll do this area. I'm just gonna polish it, so it's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna get a lot of the deep scratches out, but it's gonna get a lot of the finer scratches. So when I did the pickup, I compounded it. I used this ultra cut compound and I used this orange foam pad. It's hanging up here from uh, uh, drying it. And, you know, it's a pretty, pretty stiff pad. You know, this one's really soft. So uh, and then that's my wax pad. Um, So I, I compounded it with that orange pad and then I just waxed it. Um, I saw a video by Shut Your Face Garage. He was doing the trunk lid of the Nova and he used this Tex Wax. Tex wax. Um, and so we used that on the pickup yesterday and it worked really well. So, um, yeah. Um, so I'm going to use that again on this with that foam pad. And then I use a port cable for the waxing. I bought just bought a new one. A lot heavier than the old port cable which I'm kind of disappointed. But uh, I um, also have this flex that I bought last year when my other port cable um, crapped out. Um, hold on. Alright guys, I'm back. That was uh, Don from North Point RV and uh, coming to pay me. So, um, I made an order when I bought that um, port of cable and stuff um, from Auto Geek. Uh, sometimes they send you free stuff. I had an order, a $500 order, so they sent me a free bottle of this. Sent me another, some other uh, metal polish and stuff. So, um, like I said, oops, a little too much. <laughs> but uh, so, like I said, I did a test spot. I did this fender, and uh, I did this half with just the polish up to in here, and then I did the rest with the uh, the compound. And then you can kind of see. I move over here. You can probably see where I stop. It's a little hazy. So we're just gonna go with the polish. Um, he's not, you know, into perfection, perfection. Um, you know, it's not as you guys can see. It's not a perfect paint job or anything. But he just wants to mainly get rid of, you know, all these really fine, hazy scratches, which the polish will take care of that. 
um, you know, but there's still going to be scratch like that. It would probably minimize it. We'll see how that goes when I get to that point. Um, I only got about five minutes, so we'll get going here. Do a little spot. Okay, I'm going to start out on three.
through this cat stuff. Oh, I got 37 seconds. So, still not perfect. But it's better.